This video is sponsored by Skillshare. Today, we're back in my 1.18 hardcore world. Well, hello there. How you doing? I am stuck. But ladies, gentlemen, today we have an amazing plan and much to do. I want Prismarine, but I'm not gonna go mine it myself like some loser. So today, we're gonna make a guardian farm, and we're gonna use the Prismarine we get from the farm to make an amazing new build. That being said, let's get to work. There's much to do. First things first, I gotta go heal up my tools, because they are gonna break. Whee! Wah! So I flew to the stronghold to use my Enderman farm. Well, hello there, beautiful. I've missed you. Much better. 360! Is there anything more useless than ender pearls? I hate them so much. Now let's get back to this guardian farm talk, all right? So first off, I gotta find a guardian temple, and I think I have one in my coordinate book, which is... Somewhere? In here, maybe? Where's my coordinate book? Oh, thank goodness it's here. I got scared there for a second. All right, any guardian temples in here? Aha, guardian temple, all right, sweet. Let's go investigate. Away we go. All right, we're here and look who I found, Mr. Cow. Please stop that. If you guys didn't know, when I raided this guardian temple a few episodes ago, I had this cow with me for free milk and he's still here living life like a maniac. That being said, the guardian temple looks pretty good to me. There's no big like structures in the way. There's no land masses covering it. So it's good for farmage. Farmage, is that a word? Someone Google it. So anyways, to make a guardian farm, it's actually pretty simple, but you need to get a lot of materials. Specifically, a lot of soul sand, because how the farm works, we're gonna have soul sand push the guardians up into a chamber, which kills them. It sounds morbid, but it works, so let's go do that. So that means I gotta go to the nether and get to farming. Would you look at that? A free ride! What do we got in here for me? Nothing I care about, but I'll take you. Oh my god, okay, fine! Keep it, it's, it's yours! Jeez! Home sweet home. Hey, excuse me. Sorry. Need to sleep. Thank you. Oh, a cat. Cats are spawning here now. That's so cool. I didn't know we had wild cats here. Let's hop in here and let's go to the nether. Um, hi. Can I help you? Okay, bye. Okay, it stays open, jeez. In we go. So the plan was to go mine soul sand, but then I got a better idea. Wait, I wonder, do these piglins trade soul sand? Oh, <gasps> they do. Well, that's kind of handy. As a matter of fact, give me more. I'll be patient, trade me stuff. But then I got impatient. I take it back, you're being too slow. I'll get it myself. So I pretty much just flew around looking for deposits of soul sand. Oh my gosh, what is going on down here? Why are there so many endermen here? I don't know what you guys are planning or building, but I want no part of it. That is terrifying. I saw like 20 of them. And as I search for soul sand, if you're enjoying the series, please subscribe and hit the bell. I would really appreciate it. This is so satisfying right now. I'm not good at math, but I'm gonna guess that's enough soul sand. I'm so tempted to do it. You're lucky I'm nice. 360, are you actually still there? What are you doing? Doing? Are you stuck on something? Oh, you, you're stuck, you idiot. Kids, stay in school. Don't be like him. Yeah, I'm talking about you. Yeah, you better go back out there. <laughs> Soul sand, check. But other blocks, not check. So I collected a ton of glass, a bunch of wood, and most importantly, a lot of building blocks. Shut up. I did not realize how many blocks I need. It's a lot. Okay, I got most of the blocks I need in these shulker boxes, but I don't have enough obsidian. So funny enough, I gotta go find some nether portals to break. Where are they? Aha! Just what I was looking for. Any more in here? Ooh, two. Oh my gosh, do I wish I could actually use gold tools and armor? It just looks so cool, but it's so weak. Minecraft, you know what to do. Fix it, make it amazing. And while you're at it, add emerald armor. Thank you. Wait, big brain time. I'm a genius. Okay, everything seems good on my end, so let's get to building this farm. Back to the guardian temple, we go. There she is. Oh, a lot of guardians too. Cow, defend me. Stop, stop, stop. I should've brought my trident with me. This might get annoying. <laughs> You're part of the family now. All right, shut up. I then began clearing out the area, but I almost died a few times. Okay, you know what? Let's go back home. I gotta get my trident. And let me just say, that was a really good decision. I can't wait to farm. Farm, you guys, it's gonna be so rewarding. Back to the farm, we began placing down some temporary blocks and making some nether portals in a big square. I then broke some more blocks, took a second to compose myself, and got to placing down a bunch of temporary blocks. Okay, update. Things are coming along good. Basically, right now, we're putting a little water system so any guardians up here will get flushed into these nether portals. It may not make sense right now, but trust me, it will. On we go. Okay, here comes the scary part. We have to actually light these portals and go into the nether. And this might drop us off right into lava, so let's 
Pray, grab my flint and steel, and let's get to lighten. Please, 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 no lava. Uh, uh lava, of course, wonderful. <laughs> I can't see because the portal, ah. All right, well, that's a terrible spot, but not too bad because it's not in a lava lake, but okay, cool. I can work with this. So once the guardians get pushed into these portals, we're gonna have to make them a little bit of like a kill chamber to die. So I'm gonna make a little two by two hole here on each side of the portal. Looking good. And here comes the kill chamber. So we're gonna use campfires and hoppers to kill them and put the loot into chests. Absolutely diabolical. And we go boom, boom, and finally boom. Glorious. It's gonna work so good, I think, I hope. Just gotta carefully get back up to the portal. And now I gotta make a little bit of a containment system so they don't just flop out and go over there. In fact, I'll use glass. That'd be way cooler. Perfect. Now, the bigger question is, where is this thing in respect to my portal? Because I gotta fly back over here if I wanna get the loot. I should probably write this down, shouldn't I? Would you back up, please? So now let's hop back in the portal. And we're back. And now all we gotta do is get rid of all this grass. So technically the farm does work now, but there's no way to get the guardians up here. So that's where we enter the soul sand we got earlier. If I coat the entire ground with soul sand, it will make a bubble column, which will push up all the mobs in to the portals. Ah, oh, look at it. It's starting. It's glorious. Hey, if I were you, I'd start apologizing right now for what you did to me. Cause you're about to get killed. Soul sand style. Oh my gosh, it's getting so laggy. Is there a way to turn these particles off? Boom, 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 boom. All right, we're done. Get me out of here. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of bubbles. But guys, the farm is 100% officially complete. And we can see it live in action right there. Mr. Guardian, see you later. You stink. But right now, the farm won't work very well because I'm standing right next to it. So I gotta go AFK somewhere else, specifically up there in the sky. Let's do it. Can I land it? Ah, yes. Oh my gosh, look at it. It's going so fast. I would call this farm a massive success. So why don't we go test out the rates on this farm and go AFK for about 20 minutes. Sounds good to me, but let's make a little chamber so I can be safe. I don't want to die right now. And boom, perfection. And while I AFK, let's hear from today's sponsor. Today's video is sponsored by Skillshare. I don't know why I did that. Skillshare is an amazing site where you can learn new skills. And lucky for you, I have a one month free code that you can use. Link is down below. First 1,000 people to use the code get one month free. You're welcome. I gotta stop doing the glasses thing. Skillshare isn't just a place to learn adult skills and you know, responsible stuff. You can also learn things that really help you in Minecraft. For example, last month I took a class called Introduction to Imaginary Architecture. And oh my gosh, this class was so helpful for building building in Minecraft. And big shout out to the person that actually ran the class named Elvira Pawakoska. I really appreciate you. So yeah, I recommend you join Skillshare using my code and you will not regret it. I promise you that. Back to Minecraft. All right, let's see what we got. Oh, there's still so many guardians here. I'm gonna assume it's not safe to use these portals anymore. So I'm just gonna go back home and just find the portal on the other side. All right, where are we going? I have the coordinates in this book. 70, 200. Somewhere down here it looks like like. Oh, I think I see it. All right, I'm excited. Ah, it's not the right place. It's down here. All right, I'm excited. Let's see. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of stuff already. That was literally like... 20 minutes. All right, this needs an expansion for storage. This farm is absolutely insane. That is so awesome. But ladies and gentlemen, brace yourself. Here comes the amazing part of the episode. As I said earlier, I want to take my new Prismarine and I want to make Prismarine builds with it. And the first build idea I have is, oh my gosh, chef's kiss. Let me explain. For this farm to work, we need to go AFKing up in the sky up there. So my plan is to make a giant air balloon up here to AFK in. But the best part is that the air balloon is going to be fully made out of prismarine blocks. I have been thinking of ideas for this thing and I am so excited. So let's just get to work. So as I always do, I hopped in a separate creative mode world to practice my building ideas. And oh my gosh, I made the best air balloon ever. But that being said, I was going to need to transport a lot of materials materials very far. My solution? Make a shortcut in the nether. Um, excuse me? Why are you in my nether? All right, here's the farm. So I'm gonna maybe just make a little straight line going like this way and connect it all together. Ooh. Please don't do this. 
I know this is super ugly right now, but for the meantime, it's gonna work. Let's test the portal. Boom. Yes, all right, it works. So many flaming zombies right now. What is going on? So one day I wanna make a big bridge this way to connect to that portal, but for now I'm just gonna put a little arrow so I know. All right, sweet, I'll get the idea. <laughs> Back to work we go. So then I began collecting all the materials I needed, such as wood, such as glass, and a bunch of other little goodies. And how could I forget the most important material, the prismarine? So I crafted a bunch up, only to realize I need a lot more. So I had to go AFK for a couple more hours. I AFK'd for so long, I had time to go get a haircut. Oh my gosh, I filled it up. This farm is amazing. So I grabbed my blocks and it was time to build. Now I am no air balloon expert, but when I Google a picture of one, I see a little pointy thing on the bottom, which I think is like a weight. There's a basket to sit in. Then there's a big puffy balloon part on the top. And I mastered all three elements, making the perfect prismarine balloon. Like guys, come on. How? How amazing is this blimp? Not amazing enough, I guess, because I called it a blimp. I absolutely love it. I will say it was a pain to build because it's in the air and I couldn't like scaffold my way up properly. But oh my gosh, look at it. How sick is that thing? I literally am in love with it. It looks so good and the prismarine just makes it super unique and it fits the whole area. I love it. Now, funny enough, we're not gonna AFK here. This is kind of dangerous because you know, phantoms and stuff can come kill me. So we're gonna go up here. Come on. Yes. Okay. Here's the inside. It kind of looks like a guardian temple, which is funny, but these ladder systems go up to this little gla uh, glass, grass, glass chamber where we can AFK. So I hop up here with some warped trap doors to fit the color theme. And look at this. Safe, secure, and all lit up. But don't get too excited yet because there is still one fatal flaw with this blimp. It's not a blimp. That is, without Elytra, I can't get up here. So I gotta find a way to actually get up here. And when I say find a way, I already have a way. I have the best idea ever. Follow me. I'm gonna need some wood. If I convert these into planks, make a crafting bench, and I make some boats, I can technically place them right here. Ooh, yes I can. And now watch this. When I'm down here, I can simply click on the boat. Maybe? Please? Come on! There we go, all right. And I dismount and I can be up here and hop back down this way or go up that way. It is Perfection. Not gonna lie, that's a terrible orange color, but I'm too lazy to go get other kinds of wood, so it will do for now. But that being said, we have completed our guardian farm and our new air balloon. That is a weird landmass. It literally next to my blimp. Why is it so high in the air? But anyways, we're not done yet. As I kind of mentioned earlier, I want to build multiple things using this new prismarine. And I got some really cool ideas that we can implement back at home. Oh my gosh, wait, look at that. That's such a cool silhouette. Wet. So allow me to go grab some more prismarine. By the way, this is only getting bigger and bigger. There's just so much loot. I had no clue this farm was so OP. Like, it's crazy. Side note, free fish and free ink sacks. This is like an all-purpose farm. I love it. But wait just one second. Hold your horses. We got something really important to take care of first. Last episode, I said if the video got 2,200 likes, I would go fight the ender dragon with no armor. And you guys absolutely smashed. It. So you know what that means. It's dragon time. So this will be fun. I can risk my life with no armor and if I die, the world's over. That's awesome. Really fun. Super entertaining. First things first, how do I make an end crystal? Because I think I need those to resummon the dragon, right? Crystal. That's easy. All right, cool. I take it back. I only have one gas tier. I gotta go get three more. We're going gas hunting. Come over here, big jellyfish. Uh, did I get it? No, don't go in the lava. Ah! ah, I can't do that. I think I lost that one, didn't I? Dang it. On we go. Stay right there. Stay over the land. Yes. You didn't even drop one. No, I got it. I caught it. Oh, that was so sick. Oh, that was so epic. And that's the last one. All right, we're good to go. End crystals, check. Now I probably wanna get some things to help protect me a little bit with no armor. So maybe I could do like some potions. Slow falling, yes please. And if I have any, I'd love some golden apples. Oh, we have two, all right, perfect. Wait, I have a gold farm. I'm just gonna make more. Thank you very much. I'll get some more chicken. I think we're all good. I don't need a lot to kill the dragon. I just need confidence. <laughs> that and an infinity bow. And maybe a few more totems just in case. <laughs> Ladies, gentlemen, let's Let's go. Oh my gosh, I should have brought a pumpkin with me. Endermen are gonna murder my face. Well, it's too late now. I'm pretty sure I just smack these on all the corners and that relights them. Boom. Oh, I think it's working. <laughs> all right, let's get my fireworks ready. Got my totems, got my potions. I'm good to go. Let's do this thing. Oh wait, armor. Take the armor off. Okay, I'll keep the elytra on though, because that's not armor. Come on, you beast. 
Ah! Okay, okay, okay. Get these things first. Get them out of the way. Be like Dream. Be like Dream. Be like Dream. I am not Dream. I can't hit this stupid. <laughs> I can't hit it. All right, I'll fly up there. I'm gonna drink a potion real quick just in case. I don't want to have any accidents here. All right, it's time for the caged ones. This is gonna be annoying. Oh my goodness! Oh, oh, oh! Hold that! Hold totem! Hold totem! Oh! I got way too confident! Is that it? I think they're all done! Okay, they're all down! Alright, dragon time! Come here, you foul beast! It's time to die! I hit my shots! I'm just like Dream! Except more handsome! No offense, Dream. I'm just amazingly handsome. And then things got a lot more dangerous. Ah! What the? No! Enderman, don't do this to me! I don't deserve this! Down to my last totem! Ah, ah, ah. If I didn't have Elytra, I'd be dead right now so easily. Oh, 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 ah, ah. Potion, potion, potion. No! Oh, golden apple, please, quick! Stop! Stop being mean! I'm trying to beat the dragon! Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Don't like that! No totem left! I just gotta stay in the sky and shoot the dragon. Die, die, die! He's dead! We did it! Don't kill me, please, Enderman! We did it! We did it! We did it! That Enderman is still terrifying me though. As a matter of fact, the challenge is over. Give me back my armor. I'll take you, I'll take you, I'll take you, and I'll put on you. You're dead. Oh, you're dead now. <laughs> Give me all this glorious XP. Oh my gosh, we did it. I swear, you guys better not be like Farsi, Elytra's armor. It's not that kind of armor, so don't even say that. I completed the challenge. Goodbye, and that being said, if this video gets 2,300 likes, I'll make a giant TNT cannon and shoot myself out of it. That actually sounds so fun, so please like the video. As much as I want to start building right now, I really need to go get more totems. I'm currently all out after that, so let's go fly over to the the raid farm. Oh my gosh, my light just gonna break too. I am currently not in good health at all. <laughs> Hello there, beautiful. All right, where's the banner guy? Guys, look at Shrek. Why did I say that? All right, I got the bad omen effect. Now we raid farm. We farm the raid. Someone please remind me to make a better raid farm one day. There definitely are better designs that could be a lot more efficient. And I need that expeditiously. That's a big word. Kids, stay in school. Yes, that's a totem guy. Get in there. Get yes. I'll be taking that. Well, that was nice. Thank you, Mr. Creeper. That was very much appreciated. And that, I think, is it. Yep, raid victory. All right, I got a few more of these bad boys. Oh, yeah. That is exactly what the doctor ordered. All right, let's get back home. Wait, you guys remember this guy, right, from earlier? I just got a great idea. What if we use him over here to trade rotten flesh from the gold farm? I totally could use him for that. Hey, buddy, you stay right there. I'll be right back. All right, follow the brewing stand. You know you want it. Nope, this way. Why does he not want it? Is it like a nether thing? Take the job. Take it. All right, you know what? Forget this. You're useless. I had a good idea and he ruined it. I guess I'll just smack this thing right here and hopefully one villager will take this job and I can use him. I don't know. I guess we'll figure it out later. But now it is time to get to the building with Prismarine around my area. And my amazing idea is to use Prismarine around the boat here. Because if you forgot, last video, I made this giant boat. And there are a few things I forgot to add. One one of them being an anchor for the boat, so making an anchor out of prismarine might look really cool. I think dark will look the best in my opinion. So I guess I'll hop off here and do something like this. Bring it down to the sea floor, and I guess I make the anchor right here. Let's see what I can do. And how does that look? I personally love it, no biases here, even though I made a tutorial on this exact design about three years ago. But that being said, it aged like a fine wine. It's beautiful still, and it fits in perfectly. Also, not today but in the future I'd love to add more like underwater stuff like that like maybe like I don't know, big rocks, like lost anchors, lost ship parts, maybe even custom like shipwrecks, that'd be sick. So I got so many cool ideas for down here. Wait, one more thing. I don't know why I don't have gold on the pirate ship. Wouldn't that make sense? Cause pirates like gold. I know it's not part of the whole prismarine theme for the episode, but you know what? It's gonna fit in here nicely. So I'm gonna do it. And of course I want some gold in my captain's quarters. I'll be looking at one right here. <laughs> and there we go, much better. But guys, I'm gonna end it here. So make sure to like, subscribe, do all the good stuff. And I'll talk to you guys next time. So until then, goodbye.